Should I lock the threads? Or no more lock. We're good? Okay. All right. Hello, hello. <sighs> Lovely. The we're going to be. On the, so that's all. One that's down there and one's here. Okay. All right, welcome. So this is the 392nd time we've gotten together. We were both trying to remember the number earlier, and I was like, I thought it was 130. I said 180. One, you said 130. 130 first? Oh my goodness. Um, today, this has been an emotional roller coaster for everyone, so I really love that you're here with us. Which scene was that? I don't know. I was just here. Let's see. Are we in it? No. I don't know. We got it from uh, Jerry. Jerry. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny. I'm spinning it and there's only three things on the wheel. Good job, Jessica. We, what we do every week is we've been uh, spinning this wheel. Are we pulling three things from the wheel? Yeah. Okay, is the mic on? Uh, looks like it. Oh, yeah. Let us know if it's not. Yeah, that's a uh, So, what we've done for 392 Wednesdays, I guess, not 130, uh, is we put down the. Um, some inspiration. One night, Rich said, tonight, there is no inspiration. So I guess one less a week from 392. Um, and we just have done this to kind of go off of the inspirations or maybe not go off of the inspirations or work against the piece of inspiration. Um, this image here is going to be our first piece of inspiration. Oh, oh. Down, yeah, they're down. Kermit. Okay. Kermit versus himself. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, look. Downbeat. Art Blakey. Art Blakey. Article here. So, Art Blakey could be a piece of inspiration in himself. Rich, what's your favorite? I'd like you to read something. About Art Blakey. Yeah. You don't mind. Oh, not at all. I'm trying to find the article on him. Oh, wonderful. This is Art Blakey. Yes, sir, I'm going to stay with the youngsters. When these get too old, I'm going to get some younger ones. Keeps the mind active. So, um, Art Blakey was really amazing at um, kind of bringing up, mentoring new musicians, giving them a chance, teaching them, learning from them, and then they'd move on, um, do their own thing, and then he'd find new people. So that is like really funny because it's him saying it, like kind of um, like he's sucking their use from them, but really they got a huge education from them too. So it's fun yeah. to hear both sides of it. It's really great. Yeah. Writers say, his band's name says it all, the Jazz Messengers. On one level, these messengers are communicators. You can't play down to the people. That's really lovely. Art Blakey says, you have to play to the people. On another level, the messengers is a prime example of the oral tradition in action. A band where the tricks of the trade are passed down from master to apprentice. Um, that's the Jazz Messengers everyone knows, the hard fought finishing school the post-Kaiser College of Musical Knowledge. Nobody in jazz, nobody in jazz, nobody in jazz has a more impressive list of alumni than Blakey. Barely scratching the surface, you get Silver, Russell, Donaldson, Brown, Doug Watkins, Spanky DeBrest, Hank Mobley, Ira Hank Sullivan, Mobley! <laughs> Benny Golson, Jackie McLean, John Gilmore, Kenny Dorham, Donald Byrd, Lee Morgan. Lee Morgan! Freddie Hubbard, Woody Shaw, Curtis Fuller, Bobby Timmons, Jimmy Merritt, Cedar Walton, John Hicks, Keith Jarrett, Walter Davis Jr., James Williams, Amina Claudine Myers, yep, early 77, good old Amina, Bobby Watson, two Marsalises, <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that the Marcellus has got their shirt with the... It's pretty phenomenal. And the last piece of inspiration. Art Blakey. Are you 
frozen? No, I just heard something. So great is the space. So you're frozen? Yeah, my mind is frozen. So great is the space making power of pictures that even a mere diagram may have some of it. Imagine three straight lines arranged to indicate a road converging at a horizon. Either one sees only the pattern or else one is walking down that road. Is that coffee? No, it's um, something. <laughs> All right, so the illusion of space. Art Blakey and the jazz messengers. You can't play down to the people. You have to play to them. Um, a good example of the oral tradition in action. And Kermit versus himself. So if you would like to make art with us and you use any of those pieces of inspiration, we'd love to see what you're making. If you'd like making. to take off your shoes, take off your shoes. Exactly. Um, Alright, so we have some most amazing art this evening. <sighs> the, oh, Rich, my love, I need a roll of tape, maybe that blue tape, or if you like that blue tape, no, mask tape. So. Oh, maybe can we set the TV up? I'm not using any of the correct words right now, as you can see. Oh, wonderful. All right. Thank you. So here we are. We have just incredible pieces this evening that I will start in showing to you. What was I going to say? Start introducing to you. First, I have some coffee. All right. Here we are. Um, joining me on the seat tonight is one from our dear friend Andy. They are a local artist. Um, this is a piece of one of their friends um, who is a two-spirit, identifying as they, them. And it is going to be number one in our beautiful auction tonight to set us off in a beautiful and serene setting. So, a multimedia piece, number one by Andy. And so Rich, both um, both hats are going to, should we leave it up to the buyer? Which um, uh, indigenous... Um, charity or organization sure. would be supported from this? Okay, so this is the plan, ladies and gentlemen and lovely humans of all identifications. Number one is being donated by Andy, and we are also going to donate our half, and the money that is made by this piece is going to be donated to an Indigenous organization um, of the buyer's choice. So we know um, and love the Calgary Bear Clan. Um, we know and love, there's um, some educational organizations that support um, First Nations in our Can area. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Are you on it? Like, are you really with it? I'm like, okay. What would happen if I kind of checked out for a bit? I'll just call you if I need help. Okay. <laughs> Very sweet. So, the texture of this is just gorgeous. My love, will it matter? If, or do you like that light behind you? It's just casting a shadow on the pieces, so I don't know if it's on. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, there we go. There's such a strength in this piece. It's really, really beautiful. Really serene and very powerful. All right, thank you, Andy, for dropping this beautiful piece off. Oh, this is my Tony Allen is um, a tribute to her Blakey. That's hilarious. Wow. All right. Oh, uh, did you check the Zaw at the front, Rich? They weren't getting into that? 
What? Do you want to check the boxes at the front that they weren't getting into our dinner? Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I want to try an experiment where I don't harass the audience to share the uh, feed and see if more people just on their own feel the urge to share the feed. Oh, <coughs> yes. It's like, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to mind suggest you suggest it with our minds all right so okay do you want to put it up here on the table Sorry, do you want to put it there on the table so it's like higher up okay Jessica gets very protective of food and then talks about herself in third person. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take a picture of this piece and start documenting the pieces on the event page. So if you want to look through later, then you can see. Thank you. Number one, Andy. Two comes to us from is oh wow all right lovely so we got a few wonderful pieces this evening so number two just need to clean this one off a bit number two comes to us from Andre Quito so Ed dropped off some of these pieces the one that we sold last week and this this piece so we're going to start um, this bid at $25 so Enrique is living in Orlando live artist um, there's a really great um, interview he did about how he makes his art uh, during lockdown before when we first went through this um, and he's just such a like extroverted, passionate human being that he's like, no, I, I got like, he usually makes work on the sidewalk, talking to everyone, so now he's just kind of like been adapting and making sure everything's good, but it's just really nice to hear him talk again and <sighs> that he's still making art. And like he always says to Rich, like him and Rich are really similar. They're very, um, they can't help it. They're just always making art. <laughs> so this is a piece by Henri K. Um, Selfismo, black and white, number 10. Paper framed.
All right. Uh, and we got number three. Got some beautiful framed pieces this evening. Got a couple howls for you too. Um, so here we go. This is by Anne Christine. Owl by Anne Christine. So this is acrylic um, frame. This almost looks like a mid-air turn, like the wings going and the face is there and the texture is incredible. Opening bid is $30 for Anne Christine. Opening bid of thirty dollars. All right, then we have Other owl. Number four is called Night Owl. Charcoal, 2020, minimum bid $20. Aw, Georgia, all proceeds go to Rumble House. So this is a piece by Georgia, charcoal piece, Night Owl. We're some night owls, aren't we, Georgia? So beautiful. So opening bid, $20. We have here so this is a donated piece by a friend of Rumble's so Tom Milos um, is a friend of Theo's make sure I, I get this very nicely in there for you so he is a watercolor painter so I'm gonna from Calgary I'm gonna read you his little um, biography here. Oh, this one is back. I'm going to try to hold this stuff for you. Okay. So, and I say Miloš because I'm Hungarian and it's M-I-L-O-S-Z. Um, uh, so I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, Tom. Uh, living in Calgary, Alberta, Tom was born in Coleman, Alberta in 1951. He
He graduated from the Alberta College of Art in 1974. The primary focus of his career has been as a graphic designer working in advertising, corporate, and institutional environments. He was a working member of the Centennial Gallery in Calgary, an artist-run gallery, also is a past member of the Alberta Society of Artists. Am I doing this? Um, he participated in numerous group exhibitions. His mediums have included large acrylic abstracts, mixed media interpretive works, pencil, and watercolor. His representational watercolor paintings of rural and urban landscapes express a wide range of themes, mostly painted plein air, to capture the mood, depth, and local color in all seasons. He is currently exploring new themes in his studio that incorporate pattern and bold color. His paintings are held in private collections in North America and Australia. So this is called a Summer Lane, Kingsland District, Calgary, Alberta, 2009, August 8th. So, um, he's represented by a few small galleries, and um, this piece would generally re uh, retail for around 150, 140, or 150. Um, and he's donating these, this piece, and he has another piece um, to. The gallery. So Tom, first of all, thank you so much. Um, and Theo, thank you very much for your support, your endless and tireless and amazing support. Um, I'll take a picture of it without reflection so you can see the depth of this beautiful watercolor. If you're missing the summer colors, this will be one for you. to take a decent photo of this. see the frame and the piece number five This one's called Summer Back Lane.
Oh, hi, how are you? I can't find my Okay, yeah, when you find them, then you can talk a little about your paintings. Do you know my research sweat? I do. Did I put it down on the way to the door? Maybe. Okay, I just spent like 20 minutes looking for an eraser and I lost it. Can you see my eraser? It's on the floor? Here. Or are there other erasers? Oh, thanks. Okay. Um, and number six is by Theo, Tom's friend, who brought Tom's watercolor paintings down. So this is a piece by Theo Nelson. I really like how they're painted on the wall. So this is originally Lady Clown, July 22nd, 1981. And then um, eventually it was painted over, painted back into, or just retitled, When I See You, I Jump for Joy, June 6th, 1985, by Theodore Nelson. Give some history to this piece. So, there we go. Keep an eye out. So we do have another one of Theo's too. It looks frozen. My love, what do I do if it freezes? Sorry, what do I do if it freezes? Because 
switch um, cameras. and different uh, matte and gloss and mixed media. We have a mixed media most here. So it's number seven from Alvin. Okay, I'm back. Oh, yay! Perfect timing! <laughs> so we have, let me show your pieces, and do you want to talk a little bit about them? Sure. Here, I will show them to the... Oh, where are we? Here, here. So this is by Viviana Pacheco. So, um, the, the, the paintings are actually of uh, one of the world's largest animal sculptures. It's called the Kelpies at the Helix, and it is in Falkirk, Scotland. Um, when we were there, I, uh, I discovered them. <laughs> Just, I took about 100 pictures of them and came home and decided that I would paint them. As you can, see, you can they're see, they're gorgeous. They're, they're made up. They're made, they're made of they're metal, made metal, and all the and pieces, all the pieces are, are basically put together. Here. And as you can see, see where the where steps the are. That, that how, how, like they're like huge. They're huge. Um, um, there's really lights really on the one to the left, left. so you can so you see can how see tall a human would probably be. There's the bottom part is actually got doorways that you can they go inside, inside the, actual the actual sculpture, sculpture and they and do they tours do of it. Of it. Um, and, and at nighttime, night time, they light them up with different colors. colors. So, so they are just are incredible. So that one is that piece that has resin, resin on it and, and it's got, got um, metal, metal leafing in, in uh, that, uh, I guess it's rose gold, gold or, or copper. And yeah, that's what's up for today for me. I did, I did post, post a little bit about the Kelpies on the, on the feed, feed. Nice. And, and I will, I will add, it add it to the picture, the picture when, when um, it, it gets it posted, posted up. up. Wonderful. Okay. okay. Lovely. So so I hope you guys like them. Like them. <laughs> I, like, Viviana, the sky behind them and the colors in them are so like i really love the like the sky is so like uh, i don't know how, like i'm trying to think of the words so i don't sound there's a, there's lot, a lot of depth, depth to it, to it. And, and i yeah. think it's because it's once you resin, resin a piece, piece? Mm -hmm. it adds add that, that almost like, like a um, a filter, a filter? Yeah. Where, where you can it, it adds depth. depth it's like it's having like a having piece of glass that allows you to see further into the picture yeah, and it's like this, it's like muted, but very... Yes, it is, it is, it is, it is isn't it? Yeah, like really beautiful, like there's something somber almost, like at dusk kind of, but they're so... It was on a so very, weird, very cloudy very day. day. Yeah, you can really... And so tell. I tried I to kind of, there was a couple of times where the sun, sun peeked through, through and it, and it, and it was and like it was intense... Like intense 
um, the clouds kind of almost light up a little bit when the sun manages to peek through. You know Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> the day we went there, it was slightly drizzling. The one day that it rained, basically. And so, and then we passed them quite a few times on our way in different directions because we did stay in Falkirk. Okay. So every time that we left to go somewhere, we usually drove past them. And they're and just, they're it's just, just incredible, incredible to see them. They're just beautiful, beautiful. kind of crop up out of the ground. ground. Um, and um, it's where, it's where the, the um, uh, I want to say wanna the first river, river meets, meets another, another river, river. And, and there's, there's a lock, lock there, there actually. actually. That's, That's the horses actually, actually on each side yeah. sit with a lock in between them. That's why there's water to the left of the the one facing down. And, and I believe, I believe the, names the names are behind them, them. And, and that's the that's name of the horses. horses. Oh, cool. So behind Duke, one. Uh, this is Duke and Baron. Yes, yes. Duke, Duke and Baron. And Baron. Cool. So I believe Duke, Duke is, facing is facing up. up? Duke, this, oh, this one's Duke. Okay, okay. So, then, so then, yeah, yeah. So, then so then they, they, they were named they were after, after, after after real, after real, real Kelpies. Kelpies. And the Kelpies, and the Kelpies what, they what they used to do is used to help, help pull boats, boats through the lock. The lock. Oh, cool. I right? right? Yeah. And so they would so they put horses on each side of the lock, lock and they would and pull, pull along the whatever the boat was going through, through the lock. lock. And then, and then you, know, you the, know, the the water gets water lowered and they, and they go on go their on way or whatever. Or the water goes up and then they continue upstream. Oh, wow. Right? That's really incredible. So, so it was it was an amazing, an amazing experience going, going there, there like seeing, seeing all that. that. Definitely, I feel like a little closer to that um, experience. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, your paintings, yeah. If you, if you ever, ever get a chance to go to Scotland, Scotland definitely, definitely go to Falkirk. Falkirk. Definitely. That is basically, basically where the, the industrial, industrial revolution, revolution started, started in Scotland. In Scotland. Oh wow. With Falkirk, with Falkirk. at the Caron Works. Works? Which was the iron, iron mill? mill? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so gonna, like I said, it was a really, really neat experience, experience to stay there, there because we were kind of in the middle of the beginning of Scotland. Yeah. I'm trying to get it without the reflection of the light so you can really see the colors. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard with the reflection, but you can sort of see the depth even, even through here. I'm watching, I'm watching you on my, on my iPad, iPad and I can, and I see, can it. see it. I don't know if that's the best picture. Once you've got it up, I'll go and post about them. Okay, cool. I'm just going to take a picture here and then zoom in better because I'm not. Oh, that's better. Like, not the greatest. So number eight, number eight by Viviana Pacheco, um, acrylic, copper leaf and resin. The names of Baron and Duke. Um, would would you say, Viviana, like um, we were talking about opening bid. Would you say ninety dollars for both of them would be a good starting place? Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, would be that good. Would be good. Are you okay with that? Okay. Because they're it's a diptych, so I, and they're yeah. I want to make sure they have, they to, have go to go together. together. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You could not split these two up. No. no. All right. So I'm just posting up. It should be up there. Thanks so much for talking about them, Viviana. Oh, you're oh, welcome. You're welcome.
It was probably, probably the best, the best trip, trip I've ever, I've ever taken, taken anywhere. anywhere. I imagine. It seems just magic. I've never been there, but it just feels like magic when people talk about it. it and it <laughs> was. You know, our first, our first day, day there, there yeah. we, we got, got there, there, I don't know, it was six in the morning, in the morning and, and our, our friends, friends, we took, they, we, we went, went home with them, them. Yeah. took a took nap, a nap. Mm-hmm. And, around and around two, two we got up and they're like, we're going to take you into town. Yeah. So they, so they park, park in a back, back alley, alley so like in the like back, in the back of, of a building, building. Yeah. And, and there's like there's a pub, pub and they point at it and they're like, and they're like that, that pub, pub has, has been there since the 1400s. Oh my gosh. And then we, and we pop, pop through the through alleyway, alleyway, like through, like through um, a, little a little doorway. doorway? Yeah. And it's Where like Harry Potter. We were all of a sudden down that, you know, that where where he goes to those stores and stuff? Yeah. That's, that's what it what felt it like. like. That street. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly, exactly what it feels, what it feels like. like. And it's, and just, it's just incredible, incredible because, because the history, history, right? And I'm a history, history buff. buff. Like, yeah, like, totally. So it, so was, it was fascinating, fascinating to, be to be there. That's really awesome. There's so much to see. I find it super overwhelming to think about all the things in this world to experience. Yeah, yeah. you know what? You know what? I be, I I want to go back to Scotland because I don't feel like I saw even a quarter of what I wanted to to see when I was there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna show you the next one here. This is by Scott Corrick. Number nine. Hands Up by Scott Cork, November 23rd, 2020. Oil Pastels um, Krylon uh, Kmar Spray Sealant Satin Sheen um, on basswood and two coats of gesso to prime it. So here we go. I really love the bold lines and that eye really pierces you. Number nine. An opening bid of $30. Oops, sorry guys. Uh... Uh, what piece are you working on now, Viviana? I am, I am doing, doing a small, small um, nutcracker, nutcracker one. one. Oh, cute. <laughs> For you guys. Oh, I can <laughs> see the negative space. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, cutting, I'm in, cutting the in the background, background first, first this time. time. That's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I saw I saw Rich perk, perk up when you said negative space. <laughs> I love, I love that. that. <laughs> He's the Maybe only the person I know who does it like, like in, in such, such a, natural a natural kind of, kind of yeah, like yeah, instinctual. instinctual. He just sees like he sees like that, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm still, still working, working and, learning and learning all that, all but, that but yeah, I. I it's learn. learning. It's a learning, learning process, process for, me. for me. For sure, but it opens up so much. Like when you put, like, struggle through it. Because I still am too. Like, uh, it's it doesn't come so natural. So it's like really having to look. But then it's good practice looking. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we got another beautiful acrylic pour by Amber Colback. Reptilia. I like your names for them, Amber. They're That's like, really cool. cool. Yeah, there's. It looks like there's more copper in this one too. There's kind of themes that always crop up. <laughs> right. right? Yeah. God, I got a giant, giant battery, battery pack, pack here. here. Never heard of that before. Giant battery pack. <laughs> Stored energy. <laughs> 
I had to buy some because I have a whole bunch of little lights that I need to plug in for um, the, the Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. And the kids, and the kids keep, keep asking, asking, when are you turning those on? Soon. Soon. I told them I'm the Grinch, Grinch and I don't have electricity. <laughs> and then it'll be an extra surprise when the light comes Yeah. Like, oh, her heart must have grown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I often, I often wonder if they go home scarred, scarred after, after being, being here with me. With me. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. I try, I try to, to be a good, good day home mom. mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're good. I actually told that to a kid too. Rich said that. He said, I do my best to not do any harm. Like every day I try <laughs> my best to not do any harm. I'm like, so that's a really good way to put it. And this girl is like, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. Like, I, like there's like all this, um, there's so much like emotion and drama going on because like of the emotions and also hormones. So it's like all this explosion and they're like realizing they're not going to be together anymore. And the, the, the emotions were overrunning. And, um, and then she, she, like this one girl just asked me like, how are you doing? I was like, just trying to not do any harm today. And she looked at me, she's like, wow. She's like, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. <laughs> That's my daily That's struggle. struggle. <laughs> I think if you're thinking about it, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad you say so, because there's, there's days, days where I'm going, going I'm going to be fired by <laughs> No, I think if you're if you're even worried about it, that you're conscious of it, right? Like I think it's the people that don't second guess themselves that are the worries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's been a there's couple been of times that's, that's been really been great, great because there's, there's parents, parents who are like, like, oh, here's, oh, here's a, a bottle of wine for all your hard work, work, and I'm going, going oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Hard, hard work. work. <laughs> it is hard. It can, it can be. be. It might come natural to you, but like I wouldn't be able to do that. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Number eleven comes to us from Stephen Strain. We have this lovely little deer in a meadow. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Yeah, so soft. The texture. I'm gonna see if I can get up close so you can see the texture of this one. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, I guess I should have the comments up. Oh. Mm. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for sharing the event page and thank you for sharing how to find the posts. So if you click on discussions under the event page, it should come up. So let you can even text me and I'll try to send you the actual, like the direct link if you're stuck. I wanted to show you the texture of this beautiful deer's ears and the background. So Stephen works in oil. Um, Stephen has a lot of texture, lots of paint. Here, beautiful. A nice serene scene. Lots of serenity. We need some serenity.
got this piece here. Whoa. So our friend Leslie just um, got a new house and she's re um, designing all of her um, walls and reorganizing and also building up her office at home because she's moving jobs and everything. And this is a piece that she is um, re-donating back to the space by Dario. Mm. So cool. Flattened depth in this one. A bike driving through the hills buildings. It looks like some people, a couple maybe. You'll be able to find things in this piece for a long time. Then we got a number. 13 by Alice. This is a really cool, another really textured piece, acrylic on canvas, ready to hang by Alice. Another, a different kind of floral motif. Yeah, hey Scott, totally amazing pieces this evening. And Scott's is one of them, number nine. If you guys can find the photos, look up the different numbers there, scroll through the discussion board on Rumble number 392. Let's scroll back and see these pieces. So we have number 13 is by Alice. Bright, happy one by Pedro. Hi. Hi, I'm done. You're done? I'm not okay. done. I love you. Oh, thanks. I'm good. We're on number 14. 14! <laughs> <laughs> I was counting something in school. I got to 14 and I just like, oh, I just like have to help myself from like yelling. Better. 14! And also, um, we were talking about portraits, and then I said something about, oh, nice fa, and they were like, what? And I had to explain the whole, like, right in the fa, and they are like, that's super weird. And I was like, I'm sorry, I said that. <laughs> oh, okay. When you don't pronounce things properly on the weekends, and then you go in and teach, and you continue to not pronounce things correctly. 
Number <laughs> 14 is by Pedram. I love the look on this character's face. Look at that happy eyes. Just maybe just thinking about all these happy fruits. <laughs> Number 14. This is by Pedram. Opening bid $30. <laughs> yeah, I really big those eyes. Thing that happened to you today, my dear. Me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a little new guy, and it was only his second day. Yeah. Wait, can you tell the story? Is there like a flight issue for you, or is that just us? What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Well, teachers, we don't usually like, we gotta be really careful about what we tell, tell those stories. I, 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 I almost feel like I need a drink right, right now. now. <laughs> he didn't he cry didn't most of the day, but changing his diaper was like wrestling a monster. Okay, I am not even kidding. I had to actually use my hands and knee. Oh my gosh. I had to hold one leg with my knee, like between my legs. I changed them on the floor just for safety reasons because monsters like that. Yeah. That's fair. Oh, I think oh, I, I got more than I can today, but he's lovely. He's so sweet. Just, just I'm scared of changing his diaper again. That's fair. I, you know what, Viviana? This what? is a funny story my family likes to tell. Apparently, when I was a baby, my favorite thing was if somebody wanted to hold me, I would sort of crouch into a little um, spring and just sit and then just sort of relax into their arms. And uh -huh. the second that they relax, <laughs> I'm told, I would fling my body out of their hands. And they'd be like grappling, grappling at the air trying to catch me before I hit the ground. Mm -hmm. I've had one of those before too. That was super funny. I mean, I thought it was funny. I don't remember. I only have the word for it. Maybe they made it up to guilt me into something, but um, it sort of sounds like me. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, a bit dangerous. dangerous. Here's another funny thing. I was driving my friend Kevin to work today, and I was explaining to him, because I don't usually tell Jesse this, I don't really like, like, slapstick weird comedy humor, 
Yeah? yeah. I don't like any Me of either. Either. I've never seen um, Anchorman or Zoolander. And I miss a lot of references because people will say things like, oh, like in blue, blue, blue. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Me too. Okay. okay. So all this time I've been thinking maybe I was just a little too highbrow for uh, <laughs> these shows. Uh -huh. And then I was pointing out to this guy that I work with, yeah, like, I saw Napoleon Dynamite. I watched the whole thing. I didn't think any of it was funny. And he's like, that's because you are a Napoleon Dynamite. Like, okay, so first of all, I've considered before, I know I'm on the spectrum, but it never really occurred to me that the reason I didn't think Napoleon Dynamite was funny wasn't because I'm so, you know... Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite? Dynamic. <laughs> it's that uh, maybe some other ridiculous nature of the show was lost on me. And I was like, whoa, that, was a, that makes a lot of sense. Whoa! <laughs> One of those deep realizations you really need help to get to. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had a realization like that? Many times Many now. Times now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I like, like romance, romance and, and what do you call those? Rom-coms? Rom -coms? Yeah. So well, I, never I never get, get those references, references either. either. Right. I don't, I don't consider, consider myself a romantic, romantic person, person because, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty pragmatic, pragmatic when it comes to relationships, relationships and stuff. And, stuff. and I'm and more I'm of, more of a, my, my language of love is, is acts of, of, of kindness and, and giving, giving, right? It's right? a little bit of sarcasm in there too. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but right. I don't I get, get most of those references when people, people make them money. for... Oh yeah, don't progress this right now. Oh, no. Romantic, romantic stuff, because yeah. I'm going, what? what? Yeah. 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 Well, I think you're very romantic. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I think you live with a passion. Well, I think, I think there's, there's difference, difference, though, because, because I, think I think passion, passion is, is different, different than romance. Than romance. Mm. That's uh, fair. Like somebody um, might be like passionate and like romantic, romantically passionate, and someone might be like workaholic passionate, and someone yeah. might be. Is that right? Like, like I see you like okay, so, uh, Audrey Hepburn romantic, like just filled with budding love. And, and you know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm I'm maybe that just does, it does describe me a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not the, the like when I, I got, I got married, married once. One time, <laughs> I was like, when yeah. we're, we're not having a big wedding, wedding where, I did it kind of like you guys, guys where I'm like, like if you're lucky, lucky come, come to Jamaica, Jamaica. come and catch us at our wedding. That's nice. And we did it in Spanish town only because I'm Latina. Yeah. And I wore a $50 dress from Blue Nose. Or bootlegger, sorry, bootlegger. And we had KFC for, for dinner at the beach. We are the same. And I'll show you pictures of my wedding one day. There was like five people, myself, my husband, my best friend, and her, her husband, husband and their daughter. That's really nice. And, and yeah, we avoided everybody, everybody and everything. And it's just like, to me, that was more romantic than actually being in love with someone and doing that whole, let's invite 60,000 people and spend a million dollars. Yeah. That's just not my thing. Yeah, totally. Okay, so number 20 is by Matias Martin. Martinez. So we have a multimedia piece here, and he has currently a show up talking about love as we're talking about love. Oh, so cool. <laughs> right? So we have different to be. So It looks like this person has a heart balloon that they're getting carried away with. Does this look like a puppy? In the video, it looks like a puppy with a monocle. Or something. All right, number twenty, opening bid twenty. And 
another piece of ceramic from our friend Caitlin's mama. She's a ceramic artist. And she, um, Caitlin brought a whole bunch of her pieces down last week. So this is a really cute uh, vase, like quite nice size. And then the leaves have carved, I don't know if you can see, carved out sections. Um, carved. All right. So yeah, opening bid $20 for this nice vase by Caitlin's mom. I want to show you guys my, you guys um, my um, nutcracker, nutcracker collection, collection though. though. While you eat that you pizza eat that or pizza whatever. Is it pizza? Yeah, we got, you know, because <laughs> delivery is the only way you can get food <laughs> now. <laughs> Just like when you're on the run. Oh, wow! Mm. You do have a good collection. Right? right? So there's the one on the pedestal. Um, is a teacher. Oh, that is cute. Teachers are. We decided to honor teachers, so that one gets to be up high this year. That's really cute. And the newest one, of course, because my son said that there was too many crackers. <laughs> That's funny. We got, we got a little, a little brown, brown guy, guy who's a drummer, drummer boy. Aww. That's happy. And as you can, can see, that's, a good that's our entire collection. That's pretty fun. Do you think they're just like super happy when they get taken out every year? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> little personalities uh, and I let it's so, it's so neat, neat because, because I let the I let kids the unpack, unpack them and they are so, so thrilled, thrilled to see their favorites favorite come out, come out. and, and uh, yeah. of course they they, they want to know about the one that the newest, newest one right, right? So, so I buy one that, that we put out which was the drummer boy and then David will open one up or pull one out of his stocking um I don't know Christmas Eve I suppose that's really yeah. yeah. I try and make it as make fun as possible, possible for us, for us so. so the kids seem to enjoy it. Number 22 by Aaron Blacker. We have Zephyr. Oil on canvas opening bid $80. Mm 
Number 23 by our friend Kelly, who is making art with us too. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. So it's called Shadows. Wandering in the shadows, looking at the sky and the ground, I see people in the forest. I do not know if they are real or are shadow. My mind might be playing tricks on me. Or maybe they aren't. I do not know. Opening bid, $5. This is another really nice overcast sky painting. larger pieces back here. We have aliens from our dear friend Zach Cardinal. Lots of Ooh. energy, yeah, right? Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Arms coming down. Very reminiscent of lately, actually. <laughs> if, if you want a 2020 painting, this is probably the epitome of one. one. Right? I think so. Just kidding. I'm being positive. So I sent David camping with his dad in the summertime. Yeah. And uh, I, gave I gave him a Brave, brave New World, world to read. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he came home and he's like, Dad, this is the saddest book. Yeah. You're like, sorry. This yeah. Is our, this is our life now. <laughs> I keep coding 198, or I keep coding Animal Farm a lot. Oh my gosh. On yeah, Facebook. Some of us are for, more equal than others. That's yeah, my line. And I keep saying <laughs> Kenny and all those guys, right? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You know, they're more equal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
No, for sure. It's um, there's this really great. We found a really great graphic novel. Um, but it's not graphic novel. It's like it's like watercolor. It's so beautiful. The book we found on um, from that. So it's like it's like it, like like David said. It's like too sad though. I was <laughs> like looking. I was like, this is too close to reality. I can't keep looking at this. But the images were so beautiful. It was like. It, like, like for Animal Farm? Farm? Yeah, it's an Animal Farm. Oh. Yeah. It's really beautiful, but dark. Which yeah. Is intentional. <laughs> a warning, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're at number. Oh, shoot, I didn't take a picture of that before. by Zachary Cardinal opening bed $75 for UFO invasion <laughs> You know, you I kind of would welcome, welcome that right, right about now. now. I know. <laughs> it's like, like nothing would actually be that surprising anymore. A UFO a invasion actually does not, not scare me at this point. point. I know. <laughs> Isn't that funny how you're, how everything's so relative? It's like, you know. Yeah. yeah. I could deal with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 We could, let's bring it on. <laughs> see, see what happens. Right. right? Actually, Actually, you know what's you know funny, funny is there was, there was a time, time when I was a, a, probably a teenager and I'd be standing outside in my backyard, backyard. Yeah. going, Boy. if there's, there's aliens, aliens out there, take, take me now. <laughs> take me now, right? Take, take me, out me out of my, of my life. life. But mm -hmm. they never they answered, answered the call. call. I'm glad they did it. I got to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I seriously, I would have like, like welcomed being abducted by aliens. Yeah. Yeah, now we're just like, thank you. <laughs> I'm now I'm all nostalgic, nostalgic for, for being abducted by an alien. <laughs> if only. Look. <sighs> kind of like an alien. Three legs. <laughs> ceramic piece. And then look, Badna, if you're watching, it's a really cute little cup on this guy's head. What if he was an incense burner? Oh, look at the cute boobs. Oh. Boobs and a cute nose? Why do I have to anthropomorphize everything? I'm not sure. There. Oh, the camera's trying to adjust to me. I'm moving too much. I really like this guy. He has three cute little feet. And I really like the um, glaze on him. And the so. This is an opening bid number, tw uh, this is number 26, and the opening bid is $25 for this cute little entity. So be very happy in your house. I just need to take a good picture of it.
Here, uh, can you take some messages? Yeah. It's okay. So number 26 is by Bana. Ceramic figure. Opening bid, $25. Okay, I'm gonna check the messages. I think I'm slightly obsessed with painting and things that have to look gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Shannon sent a text, and we we're talking when you're talking, Viviana, about Scotland. Uh -huh. Shannon, our friend from Nelson, said, um, it's such a wonderful place. My granddad was born in Scotland. We went to his family home 40 years after he left, and he knew the man living in the house from grade school. My cousin works as a, at Faulkner. It, it, it's a massive lock. Someone did paintings of the gears a while ago. Cool. Neat. I really like when people send us their thoughts. You want to know what's really neat? Yes. I used to live in Nelson. Whoa! I lived there for three years. That's so cool. There's so many connections. Yeah, I used to do the heritage tour in costume. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places in Canada, actually. Yeah, um, Rich's friend lives there, and then we visit, we got to visit one time, and then, um, so Shannon, and then another lady um, bought um, some pieces, she lives in Nelson, she's friends with Michelle and Vicky, and so she lives in Nelson, and then we were able, a friend of Shannon's was driving out there, and they dropped it, the painting off at Shannon's parents' fabric store in Nelson, and the lady knew exactly the fabric store. She's like, no way! So it was like, everyone's just like friends. There's and only one fabric store. store. <laughs> I guess. I thought it was amazing. I used to shop there all the time because I sew a lot. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. yeah. Small world, hey? Okay. Okay. It is really small which is pretty lovely. I used to, I used work, to work at Whitewater, the ski hill there. Oh yeah? That's where my, my obsession from skiing comes from. from. Oh, cool. Oh, and Shannon just asked, cool, ask her if she ever met Mary Ann with her Guatemala connection. So is Mary Ann from Guatemala? Did you ever meet Mary Ann from Nelson or Guatemala? Mm, I only I knew a couple, couple of families from Guatemala, Guatemala but not really, not really well. well. Yeah. They were, they refugees, were refugees living, living there. there. Oh, okay. If anybody would know them, would be my mom, my stepmother. Yeah. Oh, cool. Does she still live there? She lives in, um, oh, what is it called? Well, it's near Trail. She lives just outside of Fruitvale. Yeah. No, between Trail and Castle. No. <laughs> Though, that's where we first lived when we first moved to BC was Fruitvale. That's what he's on old Salma Road. road. <laughs> My dad, My dad bought this bought house, house and it, it was, was the criminals, the criminals of, the of the town. town. <laughs> so, so everybody, everybody would, would be like, oh, you live in so-and-so's old place. place. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah everybody, everybody knew our house. Plus easy I guess like taking a cab you're like oh I live in the criminal's house <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, oh, that was it they're like oh those boys <laughs> all have gone to jail <laughs> I'm like was there actually a jail there no. well, well in trail. trail a jail in trail, <laughs> trail. I'm getting distracted and funny okay <laughs> all right what year was that, Viviana? Um, we moved there in 1990, the year I graduated high school, because I went to Selkirk College for three years. 
that's why I took graphic, graphic design, design and university. university. I was going to be a teacher. teacher. Just so you all know. You'd be a good teacher. It's not too late. You're I'm still not a teacher, teacher though. though. You teach kids Apparently. Well, I, well, teach, I teach preschoolers, preschoolers right? right? Yeah. So it's so similar, it's but different. I think that's more, like, that's really important. Um, um, yes. yes. I, find I find that, that I, I, what I what try and do is make the, the, the difference, difference in, in the way the they're going to learn when they when enter they school. school. Mm -hmm. And every kid, kid and every, and every teacher, teacher that I've met of kids that have been in my day home have said, oh my goodness, they're such great kids in school. So. that's really nice. Yeah, it is. Um, so, uh, oh, geez, what am I doing? Shannon said, oh, not from Guatemala, works as a health advocate, took nursing students to Guatemala for years. Oh, okay. okay. Marianne from Nelson. From Nelson? There's, There's a, huge a huge nursing, nursing program, program there. there. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Sorry, Shannon. I am confusing everybody. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be a teacher either. <laughs> you, you, you got, got practice. practice. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm going to put Theo's other piece in tonight. Why not? If nice. If somebody wants to bid on this one, it's super cute. And I think we need some sunshine in our lives. You guys you know, know how I had to make, to make a new account, account so I can, so I can post, post stuff? stuff. Yes. My friend is Theo and he sends me a message and he's like, is this really you or have you been hacked? I said that. Theo is a careful man. I do that all the yes. time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What, get banned or? People aren't interested in doing that sometimes. Oh, check. Check. Yes. yes. So number 28 comes to us from Theo, Absolute Prairie. Sketch, November... 1394, finito, December 13th, 1994. I like that you put finito. It is on a cold pressed watercolor board. Whitman, Wattman illustration board. This is really beautiful. Uh, on the topic of your beautiful prairie scenes, hey Viviana? Mm -hmm. Open sky. All right, so that's number 28, and that's opening of $30. That was the that biggest was the thing that I thing saw different, different when I moved to BC mm -hmm. was the lack of sunlight mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. evenings and early morning. Like it, because like um, you're right in the heart right of the mountains. mountains. Yeah. yeah. And, and so. so it got dark really quickly at night and everything in the summer. I used to always feel like if I just left earlier in the mountains to drive from Vancouver to Calgary, I wouldn't be driving all night. And every time I'd leave earlier, and then by 2 o'clock when the sun goes down, I'd be like, oh, I guess I didn't leave early enough. I'm actually left before the sun was up. <laughs> I suppose if you left at like 4 in the morning and kind of drove out on the easy part in the... Uh, middle of the night by the time the sun rose you might get to the danger spots but that for years right. i just keep driving out there thinking i just need to leave earlier it's true i need to leave earlier but like more like september earlier not um uh... yes yes. <laughs> yes not sunrise earlier sunrise earlier doesn't cut it I found that whenever I left here early to go to BC, I was blinded by the sun on the way home. If or if I'm, I'm coming, I mean coming back from going on holidays. Yeah. Well, it's funny that people don't think when they're buying houses that they should live to the east of where they work. That seems to me like kind of a no-brainer. You know, but if you're yeah. to drive to work, you want to be driving away from the sunset. For the sunrise. The sunrise, you, yeah. yeah. But now you want to drive them home from the sunset. And it seems like the preference for almost everybody is to do that in verse, where they're um, driving 
into the sunrise and sunset all the time. I don't know if it's like that in every city, but definitely in our city, everybody wants to be in the West, which is crazy. Uh, the Doors lyric just came into my head. The West is the best. <laughs> Jim Morrison just ripping on random things. <sighs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Actually, I mean, to be totally honest, I wanted to be kind of more interested in the East. Like, I wanted to be more sort of New York bound. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's just not my scene. Hmm. Interesting, interesting that you say that, that. today yeah. i was listening to um alicia keys because mm -hmm. of, of course, course my anthem, anthem is girls on fire, fire right, right? Mm -hmm. but, but uh yeah, new, york, new york is that what it's called no, no. new york state in mind or whatever or something yeah, yeah. and that, and came, that on. came on and i'm like no interest in new york that's None. so interesting i've never, I've never wanted, wanted to go, go. i, I just, just, it might be the big, the big city, city thing. thing. Maybe. Yeah, it's like you have to be a hustler. Like maybe hustlers really like the East Coast. You have to be on it all the time. Yeah. See, for no years thing. I wanted to move to New York, and everybody I knew from New York used to say, "You're not in New York." I'm like, "Yeah, I could be in New York." They're like, "No, no, <laughs> you would not survive in New York." I'm like, "I could survive in New York. You don't know me." They're like, "No." <laughs> I lived I in Arizona and was an ant there, though. Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> I can actually totally see you in Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. You're right, though. Maybe I can't see you in New York. No. But it took a lot of ego. Actually, one of the things I did, which I'm really glad about, is I think most Albertans, or I don't know if I can say this most, most Albertans that I knew that were teachers specifically, always talked about, we always talked about, like, we're two or three years away from moving to Vancouver. <laughs> and then nobody actually goes. It's just like this pipe dream you kind of use to get through the day. Mm -hmm. What I find interesting is when you live in Vancouver, it's like you got three jobs and you spend all your time in traffic and you don't really get a chance to do the things in Vancouver that you thought you'd do in Vancouver. Back. But if you live in Alberta and you're a teacher, you can take two solid months off and do all the tourist things in Vancouver. So it's almost like you could have a more extravagant life by being in Alberta on holiday for two and months visiting. than trying to live there. A hundred percent. But it took me a really long time to stop thinking like I was a year away from moving to Vancouver. I lived I in Vancouver, Vancouver and had to work two jobs. jobs. Uh, uh, never, never went on went vacation, vacation while I was while living, living there. there. But, but I moved I to Calgary, Calgary and then and everything changed. What part of Vancouver did you live in? I lived I by the Peony on Yale, on Yale Street. Street. Yeah. And I and also I lived, lived um, across, across the street from the, the library, library in Burnaby. Burnaby. Right, my mom worked at that library. Oh, did she? Not even kidding. I applied, I, applied. I, didn't, I didn't get a, didn't get a job, job there. there. Uh, we lived in um, Coquitlam. And uh, okay. Okay. My, my aunt, lived across from, I always called it Monday Park, but it was Mundy Park or something, Mundy Park or something. And uh, I took Jess there, and you're just on a road, it just looked like any other road. And the next thing you know, you go across the street and into the into the park, and then it's like you're in Peter Jackson's uh, Lord of the Rings. Like it suddenly seems like you've traveled to New Zealand with these 300 foot <laughs> trees that are the width of a Volkswagen. And, it kind of blows right. My mind. Well, it is. It is it a is bit of a rainforest. rainforest. Yeah. yeah. So my grandparents lived across the street from this park, and I don't think they ever crossed the street to go see it. <laughs> it was there if they wanted, I guess. Probably had a lot cheaper house down the block away from the expensive park. Also, now I want to have lunch at the bay. <laughs> at the at counter? The counter? Uh, just wherever my grandma used to take me on the, the top floor. The pot pie. Nice. 
I used to live in a basement suite where I paid the rent that was the same as I paid for this townhouse right now. I felt like in Vancouver I couldn't get ahead. Ever. Yeah, I spent a lot of time always planning to, oh, I want to do this, and then, oh, don't have the money. Rent. You know what I really want to do, though? I want to get to the aquarium. David really enjoyed it. He went with his dad when they were in Vancouver for his great grandma's funeral. And uh, yeah, it was it was an awesome experience. I dropped Oliver off when we were doing a book signing. I just dropped him at the aid. At the entrance? Yeah. Here's the money. Don't try and leave. Oh, that reminds me of my trip to Scotland where I said to David, sit at this bench, I'll be right back. And he's like, in Scotland? Yes, just wait, just wait. And I go, because I want to take pictures of this building down the street. And I'm like, I'm just going to take pictures of that. And he was tired. We'd been walking. Like, we did 15 to 20,000 steps a day over there. Yeah. So. Wait, was this in Fitbit times? No, this was it. my phone. My phone counts my steps. Okay. My Huawei. <laughs> and so I leave him there. And then he says, okay, so I tell him, I'm like, I'm just going to go over there. He says, I saw you disappear around the corner. And I started panicking because you've left me in a foreign country all alone sitting on a bench in a town where I know no one. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> I know. I kind of felt bad afterwards. First, <laughs> I was like, dude, I wanted pictures. And then I saw a bridge. That's, I have ADHD. <laughs> it's like, us as like parents and adults is so funny. <laughs> I'm like, who thought I saw a bridge? <laughs> and then I saw a bench. <laughs> and he's like, you can't do that to me. And I'm like, but at least you speak the language. That is true. Right? I mean, it's a little, it's bit, a little harder bit harder to understand, to understand Scottish, Scottish English, English, but you know. It's close. He got by. Yeah. He learned to, he learned say, to say I. That's nice. Is that like hi? It's, it's like saying, saying yes. yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you say ta when you're saying thank you? Uh, they don't. But they call you hen all the time as a woman. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Hen. Man. How can I help you? That's really cute. It's, it's very, very cute. cute. Like little chickens everywhere. Yeah, yeah like, like the, the, the store people, the, the clerks, clerks and stuff, and stuff. They'll, they'll come yeah, up and be, be like, like, hi, Hen. Oh, it's kind of like Hun. Kind of, but. But like Hen. It's like saying lady, lady or, or, you know. That's cute. Oh, it oh, was, it was fun. fun. Fun times. Fun times. So I just started embroidering because I think we're, I, I showed all the pieces. I see that. Yeah. Is so it time to log out? Um, it's, well, it's 840. So you, you're still painting though, so you can. I got some time. Yeah. I'm, I'm not done. in a rush. I'm not done. Yeah. You're fine. Neither am I. Wow, I was winging it on the colors, and I'm going, uh, what do I do with this last one? Haven't I been coaching you to say you're owning the colors? <laughs> Pure genius. Stick to that story. <laughs> I'm doing the teeth on the nutcrackers, and it's so funny. They always get creepy as soon as you add the teeth. <laughs> I'm doing portraits with my kids in school too, and they're like, they're like drawing, they're like, and then you can see they erased a million times. I'm like, yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> I was like, you don't go full teeth. <laughs> like, 
You just do the shadows. They're like... You know what you do? Is you draw the bumps on the bottom <laughs> yeah, of the teeth. Yeah, just the bumps. The bumps on the top of the teeth. Exactly. And you leave the gaps between the teeth as what is called an implied line. Implied, exactly. And they're like... Because if you draw the lines between the teeth... Hillbilly. Looks like plaque. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against hillbillies, but... But actually, the implied line is something that's really difficult to teach. So once they realize they don't have to deal with teeth anymore, it's um, quite yeah. nice rest. It is. Right. Cause it, and cause I, I need, need to take our lessons lesson. from you guys then. <laughs> the implied line, that was the lesson. Implied line. My lesson to you, stop telling people you don't know what you're doing. Because you do. Yeah. yeah. I wing I everything, everything, you guys. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Oh my god, I love you. Hey, I'll stop, I'll stop talking, talking now. now. <sighs> it's lovely love being an artist. artist. <laughs> Is it? Is it? When you feel more and think more than everything. Except for when you when can't you pay your bills. Your bills. Artists shouldn't stop you from paying your bills. <laughs> Why would it stop you from paying your bills? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I mean, can pay my bills go. as long as it's not always no, from the artwork. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Everybody has another job, but, um, you know, most people watch hockey game at the end of the night. They don't get paid for it. True, yeah, right? right? There's this illusion that there's a few kids that make a living, uh, playing video games that illusion comes from the video game companies that want you to think there's a career in it when there isn't it's a false uh false reality mm -hmm. some people end up getting to play hockey for a living that must be pretty nice not very many i think getting paid to do something you love is pretty wonderful that's true yeah, yeah. this part this has, has been, been pretty, pretty amazing, amazing. You know, I think I bought this white paint recently, and it's the same brand as I've always bought, but it's almost like they went cheap. It's really... What brand? Oh, I don't know. It's... Mm, can't see the jar from here. Anyhow, it's supposed to be... White. White, like I like bought I it before many times, times and I usually use it for my mixing. Is it the studio quality? Is it the student quality? Because it could be a brand and have still have um, different um, layers of professional, yeah. like different quality. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same, same brand, brand, the same, same stuff, that stuff that I bought, I bought before, before and, it's and it's not, not it's just, can I make a suggestion? Uh, what did they call it? Dollar, Dollar round. 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 Yeah. Brownie, brownie. When in doubt, when's are getting? So I do have white in Winsor Newton, and that's what I'm going to go dig out to do all the white highlights because this isn't white, yeah, white enough. enough. Another thing you can do is buy like a pack of cheap paints and then have some secret weapon good paints for the finishing touches. That's what, that's I, what I do. I my black is that. that. And my, and my white, white, if I can find it. <laughs> the good stuff. Oh, do you have somebody that helps you clean up, Viviana? <laughs> I help That's myself amazing. clean up and I don't do a very good job and everybody says they're not romantic and I say wait till you get married and you have somebody to help you put your paints away and then you can't find them later you'll never know where anything is again it's like That's me and I do it myself hunt. yeah everything's a treasure hunt <laughs> trying to keep the excitement in your life. Too. They'll see when they're looking for the bodies, Ava. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. My okay. Bad. Look, I'm doing a heart and I'm going to get to the eyeball in the center, but I really like the colors. Can you get the colors? Green. Oh. Green. Oh, there. It focused. This is a cool camera. It actually does a good job at focusing. Which one? Close up. The one we keep um, donating. Nice. So I'm going to get the eyeball in there for next week. I should be able to finish it. I have newt. Yeah. I have heart.
I heart. Seven. Forty. How are you doing? How much sure is it? Eight forty-seven. Take a few more minutes. Ah, sorry. Just keep banging on the camera. Here I am to save the day. Mighty Mouse is on the way. <laughs> But you didn't know I had it in me. That's yeah. new. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Do you ever play this game, Viv? Stop messing with it. No, wait. Stop messing with it. No, no, one more. Stop messing with it. No, nah! that's perfect. Stop messing with it. No. Nah! You ever play that game? Yeah. yeah. And, and there's, there's times where I'm like, like oh. Oh, it's perfect. Wait, wait, wait. No! Nah! You know that one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I know, oh, I know it well. Why, why do we do this to ourselves? And not, and not that, that long, long ago, ago, I ended up, ended up having, having to repaint, repaint a part of something. I think I was telling you guys this. We like painting, right? So it's not that bad. Now no, but... An hour or so. I overdid, I overdid a, nose a nose on a dog, on a dog and then and I was like, like oh! oh. Nobody knows when to stop. I just overdid it. Nobody knows when to stop. Knows. Right? Nobody knows when to stop. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what color to make his outfit. And then I have one more over there that I haven't even started. <laughs> it looked nothing, nothing like the rest because he'll be painted, painted a different, a different day. day. Does that ever, ever happen to you guys? To you guys? No. Yeah, I have different, like a different feeling or a different like touch to it sometimes. Also, they're I... using the acrylics. Uh huh. Because uh -huh. acrylics dry a different color, so when you let them dry and go back to them, you always have that struggle to uh, color match. You have to exactly. color down a bit, yeah. Probably regret, probably regret not, not having, having started, started him tomorrow. tomorrow. But whatever. Whatever. Okay. Don't overdo it. Don't mm -hmm. do it! Stop! Oh no. You've ruined, you ruined it. it. No, I'm doing good. <laughs> no, no. I just stopped. Uh, I like to build tension. I like the melodrama. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are my, you drama, my drama, my dramatic, dramatic beagle? beagle? Hey, look at me. Look what I can do. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my do god, that dog, that is, dog gonna is gonna drive me to me drink. Can you imagine me at 7.30 in the morning? <laughs> I can. Super, <laughs> super <laughs> funny all the time. She speaks, she speaks from, from experience. experience. <laughs> Who, Jessie? God knows how she Who survives. Else? <laughs> god knows how she survives. <laughs> She's pretty resilient. Like, I mean, okay, first of all, everybody's like, how does she put up with him? You know what? She gets to sleep. <laughs> I gotta be me all the time. All the time. <laughs> she goes to sleep and there I am just sitting there looking at myself. What are you doing? Why don't you stop bugging people? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just I loved. Oh. Like everybody else. Except for Deanna. She's not romantic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pragmatic. Pragmatic. You're not. Make, Make it easy, easy and I'll love you. Love you. You're romantic. Just, Just don't, don't freaking, freaking bug, bug me. me. Really? That's, That's one, one of my of biggest, biggest things. things. I've been in relationships where the person bugs and bugs and bugs and, bugs and, bugs and, bugs and, and it's and like, like 
Be yourself. Be, yourself, be, independent. be independent. Don't bug me. Don't bug me. Don't bug me. <laughs> Wait. Well, well, well just, just, you know, yeah, like people. people. Oh, they're clean. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah there's that. that. I actually really like Queenie. My wife's super Queenie. I'm like, you're so handsome. She's like an octopus. <laughs> She's like an octopus. Are you really? Are you really? Yeah, like. Super Queenie. Do you want to come and hang out at my house? <laughs> oh no, like not um, efficient like an octopus. I just like grapple him with all of my limbs and then he's like, I'm trying to like brush my teeth and I'm like, but I love you. And then, oh, oh like that. <laughs> so if so you if ask you my ask child, child yeah. he'll tell you the same. Yeah. He'll be like, okay, that's enough, that's mom. mom. That's enough. That was, that was he, he, he did, did it, it twice, twice today. today. That's pretty cute. Because he's, he's like, like you're, you're a little, a little bit, bit too touchy. touchy. So yeah, I'm, yeah affectionate. I'm affectionate. I think, I think it's, it's a Latina, Latina thing, thing though, right? right? We're like, like touchy-feely touchy that, that way. Affectionate, yeah, totally. I think I he's, he's more he's British. More British. <laughs> Everybody hates the British. <laughs> oh, I don't think everyone hates You know what? I don't know why Paul used to say that. Every time the word British was said, he would say, everybody hates the British. Of course, you know. No, I love, love the British. It must have been a line from a book, I think. Um, Rich, I have a question. We have that one piece in the back. Um, I'm the same way, Jess. I do the exact same Jess. thing to Stephen when he's brushing his teeth, so don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. No, Octopus no. cling! <laughs> I actually like when Jess clings. There's one thing. Sometimes Thanks, she Kelly. just leans on me, and it's like, she doesn't think about angles or like... Or that I have weight. Yeah. Sometimes when she leans on me, it's like... <laughs> not ergonomic. That's fair. She leans on me not very ergonomically. She leans on me not ergonomically. Um, well. well, I have a question. No questions for you. Um, someone was asking if there's any David Belcourt pieces Bring it out of there. There is one in the back. Why yeah? are you asking me this? Well, can I... What? <laughs> I always forget that people can hear me asking the questions that they have asked over text. <laughs> I, I especially love... Uh, <laughs> oh, you're, you're special. special. <laughs> All right, David Belcour. We got number twenty-nine, and if he comes, then we'll get another David Belcour. This is by David. This is a lovely painting of. The river. Here comes Here the comes dramatic, dramatic beagle. beagle. I like that he's named the dramatic beagle. <laughs> hang on, Sloopy. Sloopy, hang on. There we go. You, you know that song was you originally have about Snoopy, but they didn't have the copyright, so they changed it to Sloopy. Oh, really? Oh, really? Sneaky, eh? Hey? Sloopy. I always thought it was Snoopy, anyways. Me too. Me too. I hope I always just sang that Snoopy. Snoopy. Oh, Sloopy. Oh, Snoopy. 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 No, no, she, she cannot, cannot go, go outside. outside. Every, Every single time she has to bark, bark at something, something and it's it. usually nothing. nothing. You say that until the aliens come, <laughs> and then you'll be like, damn. That's really funny. That's She's like, keeping them away from, from my, from backyard. From my backyard. backyard. She's ruining, ruining my chances of leaving this planet. planet. You will not leave this planet. We need you. Rossi, come, <laughs> here. Come, here. come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's what I said. Come here. Come here. Meet everyone. You said that? Yeah, come because here. we were talking about this earlier. Come here. And I was like, well, I'm glad you didn't get just, just abducted come here. because then I would never have met she you. Might right. Not. And then we wouldn't have learned all the fun things we learned about Nelson. Right. Or Fruitvale. Or Fruitvale. Or Trail. You know, Nelson. it's funny. I don't know if I should tell the story on this feed, Viv. But, you know, you said you moved into the 
bad guy's house? Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, my friend who lived in Fruitvale uh, ran into some trouble as a young man and ended up having to live with the bad guys. Now, oh, I don't know. Oh. There might have been two bad guys there. <laughs> but what happened was, he told me this story one night. He was just a teenager and he had nowhere to go. And the house was kind of like um, uh, Oliver Twist, where the like. They took him in, but then he ended up mixed up in some bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And so one night they're like, we're going to go break into this house. And he's like, I don't know if I'm into that. And they're like, we're going to cut off your fingers. So he's like, oh, I'll be right there. And so they broke into this house. And then the cops showed up and everybody like sprawled out. And he was just left there for, you know, like bait. And the cops, he was like 16 or 17. They're like, listen, we know you're not the trouble. So we want you to sing. And I'm like, so what'd you do? And he's like, I sang like a bird. <laughs> and so he used to tell me the story. There's two things. One, he always told people he was from Trail, which I thought was weird because I'm like, aren't you from Fruitvale? He's like, I never tell people that. And one of the reasons why he didn't tell people from he was from Fruitvale, I guess, is he couldn't go back there after this incident of. Uh, yeah, I, yeah believe I believe it. It, it was probably that probably family because they were they, really, you think really. My friend really. lived in the same house as you temporarily. Probably. Probably. Isn't that interesting? It was known it was as the criminal's house. The criminal's house. <laughs> 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 okay. I think that's why we bought it for so cheap. cheap. You would never expect to be hooked up in that kind of action, but he was. Aw. We're going to... Say that, but I wonder... Oh, yeah. We log off? Log yeah. Off? We're going to log off. So I just want to make an announcement. So we're just closing this live stream. We're going to open up a brand new live stream for the auction. And what um, do we need to happen with that live stream? We are going to share. And then I will go over the for rules the too that stuff. we're all texting 403-629-7424, which is not up on the screen right now, but we're going to put it up on the screen in the new live feed, 403-629-7424. Look up 